Hi, is everybody back? All right. Perfect. Hi, Jody. Jody, I miss your smiling face. Okay, so guys, this is Vinyasa. So it's a 60 minute class. It's um, all levels, so just a nice roll rounded flow. And uh, yoga blocks, they look like this. So if you have these, great. If you don't, no big deal. Um, but they just, have, the, the purpose of blocks is that it helps bring the floor up so that if your body isn't quite as open, um, it just allows the body to open without a strain. But no big deal, just do the best you can, okay? All right, so we're gonna start in, in child's pose. So everybody, sit in child's pose. So that's with your, um, towards the back edge of your yoga mat, big toes touch. Open the knees wide so your chest can kind of spill in between the knees, okay? And we're gonna just drop the head down. Okay, arms forward and just relax here. Just take a moment to settle in. Resting your forehead heavy on the mat. And just begin to tap into your breath. Begin to slow and even your breaths. Okay, from here we're gonna walk the fingertips forward. So come up on your fingertips on the pads of your fingers and reach your arms way far forward. So you're up on the pads of your fingers and you're gonna reach your hips and your tailbone way, 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 way back. So elbows are straight, firm the triceps into the midline. So you're activating the arms here. Continuing to breathe. Okay, feeling the length in the spine, long neck. Already feeling that opening. I don't know what you had planned today, what you did today, but this always feels so good. Just opening up the body. So thank yourself for making it here. Take this time to open the body, decongest, and calm the mind. Okay, so palms flat, so spread your fingers wide. Now press the palms flat. Elbows are still straight, triceps firm. Press the palms firmly into the mat, shoulder distance. Spread your fingers wide. And then keep the hands where they are. We're gonna press on up to all fours. So tabletop position. So if we did it right, the shoulders should be stacked over the elbows and the elbows over the wrists and then the knees under the hips, okay? Inhale, belly down, coil the chest up, eyes up, look up, reach up. And then we're gonna exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, your face to your heart, lower abdomen in, really round the spine. Inhale, cow pose. Inhale, belly down. Coil the chest up, eyes up, look up. And exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, round your spine, pull your navel to your spine. Let's do two more, cat and cow, inhale. Exhale, so full breaths here, good. One more here, inhale, belly down. Pull the heart forward, look up, eyes up, reach up. And then exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, your face to your heart, lower abdomen, and really round the spine, meeting back in neutral spine. Thoracic circle, so we're gonna come up and over to the right, and we're gonna trace the spine over, down to the right, over to the left, and up the left side, like we're tracing a barrel with our torso. Up and over the right, dropping down, over to the right, dragging down, over to the left, up the left side. One more of this side, opening up the thoracic spine, articulating through the joints, Meeting here at neutral. Let's go the other side. Up and over to the left. Down the left side. Driving the chest over to the right. Up the right side. Good. Two more here. So big, big, big circles. How big of a barrel can you trace with your torso? Okay, one more here. Keep breathing. Opening up the spine. And we're gonna meet in neutral. Okay, let's wake up the, th uh, the spine. So stretch the right leg back, 
Okay, so you're coming up on the ball of the right foot. Firm the right inner thigh up towards the ceiling. Belly in, long spine. Keep that right leg super firm. You're gonna lift the right leg up. So now flex the foot. So press through the center of the heel to the back. Keep the belly engaged, and we're gonna add the left arm. So you're gonna reach the left arm forward, stretch the right leg back. Reach, stretch, lengthen, holding three. Breathing two. And one, release, let's take it to the other side. So left, come up on the ball of the foot on the left leg. So firm the left leg thigh up towards the ceiling. So the inner thigh spins up, coming up high on the ball of the foot. Keep that leg firm, we're gonna lift the left leg up. So press through the center of the left heel, belly in, hips square. Keep the leg firm, the core engaged, stretch the right arm up. Reach the right arm forward, stretch the left leg back. So you're lengthening, Stretching, reach, stretch, holding three, breathing two, and one, release. Let's take it again each side. So stretch the right leg back and up, left arm forward. Reach and stretch, lengthen, reach and stretch. We're gonna bring knee to the elbow. On an exhale, inhale, lengthen. Two more here, exhale. And lengthen. Last one. Exhale. Knee to nose. And lengthen. And release. Good. Let's do the other side. Left leg back. Firm the back leg thigh. Flex with the heel. Add the right arm. Belly in. Long spine. And then we're going to exhale. Knee to elbow. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. One more time, exhale. Lengthen long. Okay, drop the hand down. Tuck the toes, hands or shoulder distance, firm the palms down, and bring the shins up, the knees up half an inch off the mat. Okay, so we're hovering the knees. Pull the belly in, long spine. Engage the core. Breathing. Holding three. Breathing two. And one, press up to downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. So pedal out your dog here. So walk out your feet. Whatever you'd like to do. Some people don't like to. They like to just go still right away. Whatever feels good for you. Okay? So you're pedaling out to feet if you're doing that. All right, so quiet the feet down. Press down through the heels. Downward facing dog. So you want a pretty long downward facing dog. So ideally, the heels are just grazing the mat. Press the palms down. Press the yoga mat away. Everybody, lift high up on your toes, bringing the hips up high. So you're really high on the toes, and you're gonna bend the knees a lot. Press the chest to the thighs, okay? Keep the elbows straight. Press the chest to the thighs, hips up high. Keep the hips high, we're gonna re-straighten the legs. So rooting down the centers of the heels. Good. From here, we're gonna glide forward to plank high push up and pause. So notice you want shoulders over, elbows over wrists, belly in, hips down, long spine, plank position. Press back up into downward facing dog. Good. Gliding forward, plank high push up. Keep the legs firm so you're spinning the inner thighs up Firming the outer thighs in. Breathing. Press up to downward facing dog. Good. Hold it here. Downward facing dog. Everybody, firm the outer thighs into the midline. Firm the outer ankles in. And spin the inner heel out. Outer ankle firm in. Spin the inner heel out. Firm the legs. We're going to glide forward to plank and pause. Breathing. Use your core. Fire up the core. Good, listen here, we're gonna drop the knees and then we're gonna lift the hips up, drop the chest and chin. Okay, now we're on the belly, hands under the shoulders, palms flat, we're gonna inhale up on um, cobra pose. So cobra pose, legs are long, spin the inner thighs, internal rotation, elbows close, shoulders down and back, heart lifted, cobra. And release. Breathe. 
Okay, on this next one, you can either take another set of cobra or you can take an upward facing dog. Point through the toes, firm the quadriceps, lift the knees up off the mat, elbows close, and on an inhale, we're gonna come on up to upward facing dog, okay? So here the knees and the legs are off the mat, pointing through the toes. Pull the heart forward, drop the shoulders down. Upward facing dog, holding three, breathing two, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, okay? Breathing. So press the palms into the mat, press the chest to the thighs, length and long, lots of space in between the vertebrae. Keep breathing. We're gonna glide forward to plank, high push up and pause. High push up and pause. Press back up to downward facing dog. Glide forward to plank. So this is an, another variation. Instead of dropping the knees, you can keep the elbows close and you can come down. Elbows at a 90 for chaturanga. Mid plank, chaturanga. Push back up plank, press up to downward facing dog. So if you're gonna do the chaturanga, make sure the elbows stay at a 90 degrees. You don't wanna drop the shoulders under the elbows. Very important. Let's do it again. Glide forward, plank high, push up and pause. Firm the legs. Come forward a little bit, elbows close, chop the danga, pause, elbows are at a 90, roll over the toes, inhale, upward facing dog, chest up, roll over the toes, lower abdomen in, downward facing dog, and you're breathing. Heart rate coming up a little bit here, creating heat in the body. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Glide forward, plank. Pause, lower down, Chaturanga, elbows are at a 90, super important, pause, roll over the toes, inhale, upward facing dog, you're breathing, belly in, downward facing dog. Okay, we're gonna see that a lot later on. Okay, from here, down dog, let's go to plank, high push up and we're gonna pause. Into Vashisthasana, side plank. So we're going to stack, the left foot on the right, or okay, you can do a variation, a modification. You can have one foot in front of the other, or you can drop the bottom knee, or you can stack the feet. Okay, again, the bottom hand, elbow, shoulder over elbow over wrist, very important. Okay, spinning the inner thighs towards one another, outer thighs firming in. You can lift the top arm if it's available, belly in. The tailbone is chasing the heels. And if you can, you lift the top leg up, holding three, breathing two, and when come down plank, we're gonna take it to the other side, okay? Starting in plank, then you stack the feet or you take your modification, okay? And then we go for it. Make sure shoulder over elbow over wrist, nice alignment. Maybe you lift the top arm up, Inner thighs spinning together. Lift the right leg up if you can. Open wide, holding three. Breathing two. And one. Come back down. Plank. Downward facing dog. Okay, maybe a little bit of heat created, hopefully. Okay, bend the knees and we're gonna tippy toe all to the top of the yoga. Okay, so feet hip distance, forward fold. Interlace your elbows, and then just hang down. Let the head hang down. Maybe sway right, maybe sway left. Swaying right and left. Okay, maybe shaking your head yes and no. Okay, soften the knees, belly in, and we're gonna slowly roll all the way up. To standing. Woo. Hello. Welcome. Feels good. Okay. Feet together. Spread your toes wide. Stand up tall. Chest lifted. So mountain pose is very active. Legs are firm. Feet rooted. Belly in. Stretching long and tall through all sides of the torso. Lots of space. In between each and every vertebra. Shoulders pull down. Heart lifted. Long neck, thank yourself for coming. I thank you for coming. Thanks for keeping me company. 
here in Las Vegas. Okay, Ardha Suri Namaskar, half sun salutation. Inhale, arms above your head. Stretch up, reach up, lengthen. And we're gonna open up cactus. So goal post, cactus the arms, slight back bend. Inhale, lengthen long, stretch up tall. Exhale, diving forward with a flat back. Hands next to your feet or on your shins, or maybe you have blocks, whatever is available. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, long spine. Coming all the way back up. Full breaths. Hands over your head and bring your hands down. Same thing, two more. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, open. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, diving forward, long spine. More space every time. Nice and slow, full breaths. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, long spine. Come in all the way back up. Reach up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Last one, just like that. Inhale, big breath. Root down to rise. Exhale, opening. Slight back bend, opening the chest. You know, lengthening. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, long spine. Come in all the way back up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Okay, we're gonna add on, listen carefully. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, diving. Inhale, halfway lift. If you have your blocks, bring them back a little bit. And then just bend the knees and just the right leg steps back, drop the back knee. So make sure you just took a big enough step so that the knee is over the ankle, not past it, okay? And then we're gonna inhale, come up. So the back knee is dropped. Kind of just dropping into that hip, opening the right psoas. Stretch up, reach up through the arms. Okay, drop the left hand down and on your block if you have one. Inhale, stretch up. And then slightly bend over to the left. So the left hand is down on the block. And then you're reaching over. If you don't have a block, you can have do a hand on the hip or maybe on the floor if you're super open. Okay, one more breath here, and come back up. Good, hands down, left foot meets the right, cycle through the vinyasa. Plank, chaturanga or knees, cobra or upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, and we're breathing. Three breaths here, inhale, exhale one, Inhale, exhale two, one more inhale, exhale just the right leg steps forward and we drop the back knee. Inhale, come up, make sure your knee is over your ankle, good, stretch up, reach up, spin that left hip forward, pull the right femur back. Okay, from here, keep the left arm up. You drop the right hand down on the block. Lengthen long and tall. And then you just do a gentle uh, stretch over to the right side. Nice lateral stretch. One more breath here. Coming back up, arms up, hands down. Tuck the back toes, step forward. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, long spine. Coming all the way back up. Hands in front of your heart. Repeat, other side, inhale, big breath. Exhale, diving forward, long spine, belly in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, just the left leg steps back, drop the back knee. Inhale, arms up. Stretch up, reach up, lengthen. Okay, drop the right hand down. And we're gonna lift the left arm up, 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 up. And come over to the side, a little twist. Breathing. One more breath here. Okay, bring the arms up, hands down. Tuck the back toes, right foot meets the left. Cycle through the vinyasa. Always an option to skip the vinyasa and just meet in downward facing dog. Breathing. 
Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale one. Firm the outer ankles in. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knees. Only the left foot steps forward. Drop the back knee. Inhale. Arms up. Stretch up. Reach up. Lengthen. Bring the left hand down. Stretch the right arm up, 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 up. And then nice lateral stretch on the right side. Breathing. Firming the left femur in, spinning the right buttock forward. One more breath here. Coming back up with the arms. Hands on the floor. Tuck the back toes. Come on forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse. Coming all the way back up. Good. Stretch up, reach up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Let's do that again a little bit different. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, diving forward. Vinyasa, breath to movement is what it is. That's what it means. Inhale, lengthen. Bend the knees. Just the right foot steps back. This time, we're going to take a crescent, okay? So you're coming up on the back toe. The, you can drop the back knee if you like, but if you want to go um, to the full form, hands on your hips, and you're going to come up, okay? So we're high up on the back toes, firming the left thigh in, spinning the right hip forward, belly in. Okay, good. From here, we're going to lift the arms up. Crescent. Keep the right arm up. We're going to spin the left arm back. So a little bit of a revolved crescent twist. Maybe you look at your back arm. Arms are active. Inhale, arms both up. Keep the deep bend in the, in the knees, and then we're going to open up. So this time the left arm is forward and the right arm is reaching back. We're still up on the half toe, on the ball of the foot of the back leg. One more breath here. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Cycle through the vinyasa. Or skip it and meet in downward facing dog. Full breath. Nice and slow. Clean. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees. Just the right leg steps forward. Crescent the other side. Okay, so take it step by step. So you're high up on the, the ball of the back foot. You can drop the back knee if you like. Hands on your hips to start. Firming the right hip in. The right femur. Spinning the left buttock forward. Belly in. Lengthen the arm. We're going to add the arms. Keep breathing. Stretch up, lengthen. Okay, left arm forward and the right arm back. Twisted crescent here. Lots of enthusiasm between um, both arms. And inhale, arms up. And we're going to open up either way. Keep the core engaged. One more breath here. Arms up. Hands down. Right foot meets the left. Cycle through the vinyasa or skip it. Meeting in downward facing dog. You can also go knees, chest, chin, belly. You can do cobra. And then you can go down dog. You choose. Breathing. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Last one, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees a lot, look forward, come up high on the toes, step or lightly hop your feet in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Now listen carefully, sit back on the heels for Utkatasana, we're going into chair pose. Okay, so line up the feet, knees together. Stay low in the seat, we're going to inhale, arms up. So Utkatasana, chair pose, awkward pose. Okay, so you want to have maximum body weight in the heels, like you lift your toes up. And imagine you want to lift your shins up. So how do you do that? You have to bring the weight back, back, back. So toes up, shins up. You can test it with the toes up. You don't have to hold it the whole time, okay? And then imagine there's a wheel from your hip socket 
and it's a big giant wheel and you're opening this way through the lower ribs, the chest, the armpits, the shoulders, all the way up. Okay, stay low. Maybe you bring your hands palms to prayer. One more breath here, stay low. Bring your hands in front of your heart. We're gonna do a chair twist. So staying low, we're gonna hook the left elbow on the outside of the right knee, the right leg. Bring your hands into prayer. Palms together, thumbs towards your um, sternum. And we're gonna look over to the right. So on this one, the left knee is gonna wanna sneak forward. So keep pulling that left knee, the left hip back. Pressing the palms firmly together as you twist. One more breath here. And we're gonna come back through center. Oh yes, keep breathing. Oh yes, hands in front of your heart. We're gonna take it to the other side, hang on to it. Okay, this time the right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Okay, keep breathing. Keep the knees in one line, the toes in one line, hands in prayer. And we're gonna twist to the left. Keep an eye on that right knee, it's gonna to wanna to come forward. So think of tailbone, and then you're opening, you're twisting from the lower abdomen. Opening up the left chest, the left shoulder. Maybe you look up. One more breath here. Twist any amount. Coming back to center, arms up one more time. And exhale, forward fold. Good. Heel toe your feet open, hip distance apart. Going right into Padmasthasana. So take your index and your middle fingers, your peace fingers, and you slice in between your bag and second toe. Create a hook around your big toes. You're gonna to inhale, halfway lift. So when you halfway lift, you wanna really feel the resistance. So you're lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. You should feel really good in the low back. And you're gonna pull forward, pull down. Okay, you can soften your legs if you like, but this is about opening the back body. So we're bringing the elbows out right and left. Okay, and then we're going to pull the body down. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, pull any amount. Inhale, halfway lift. Now listen carefully, release the hands. We're gonna place the hands on the mat. Palms flat, spread your fingers wide. So you're, it's a slight external rotation of the palms. So the wrist creases are in line with the top edge of the yoga mat. Going into Bakasana crow pose. So from here, this is the setup. You have to look really far forward. You come up on the toes as high as you can. You get the knees on the outsides of the upper tricep, firming the elbows in like the chaturanga, okay? You gotta look up super far forward and you use your core and you transfer the body weight forward and you lift one leg at a time, okay? Just do one at a time or maybe you can do both. It takes a while to get here. Use your core. Okay. All right. Come out, we're gonna go bring the feet hip distance again. So from here, we're gonna go to Pada Hastas, and we're gonna take the hastas and place them under the padas. The hands are under the feet. So palms face up. We're gonna slide the palm underneath the foot. So the toes are tickling the wrist creases. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, pull the body down. Pada Hastas. Breathing. So for here, so if you're super bendy and you have a really, uh, really open um, hamstrings, you wanna, while you're doing, well this is for everybody, but while you're doing this, you wanna firm the outer thighs and you wanna firm the um, ischial tuberosities in as you pull. So there's a resistance. So if you're super open, you don't wanna just keep opening. You have to have something to resist so think of closing the ischial tuberosities. Those are like the butt knuckles. <laughs> okay. Protecting the hamstring attachment, holding three. Breathing two. And one, inhale, halfway lift. Release the hands. Okay, let's do another crow, another bakasana. Spread your fingers wide, 
palms flat. Okay, the, the key is looking really far forward. That's the key. And then you bring the elbows on the outsides of the triceps. Use your core, belly in, and you transfer the body weight forward. Firm the elbows close into the midline. Bring the legs up if you can. The heels touch the buttocks. Okay. All right, so come out when you're ready. Bring the feet together, toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, long spine coming all the way back up. Whew. Stretch up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Let's take a quick sip of water if you'd like. And then just a quick one, then we're gonna move on, okay? Is it going good? You guys good? Okay, moving on. Always best to just have small sips of water if you need small sips, not a big amount. Moving on, Suri Namaskar B, Sun Salutation B. So we start with the feet together, top edge of the yoga mat. Stand up tall, keep breathing. We're gonna sit back in the chair with Katasana. I like to glide my fingers down so I know that my hips are low. Okay, lift the chest up, eyes up, look up, reach up, hands in prayer. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, right foot steps back, left plank high push up. Cycle through the vinyasa, meeting in downward facing dog. This is Sri Namaskar B, Sun Salutation B. From downward facing dog, we're going to spin the left foot flat in at a 45. Use your core, bend the right knee and step the right knee all the way through to the front in between the hands. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Vira Vajrasana A. Okay, so the backside foot is spinning at a 45 degree angle. Bend the front knee, spin the left hip forward, pull the right femur back, belly in, lengthen long, stretch up. Maybe you bring your hands, palms together Stretch up, reach up. Two more breaths here. Warrior one. And exhale, hands down. Right foot meets the left. Cycle through the vinyasa or skip it and meet in downward facing dog. Keep breathing. Meeting in downward facing dog. From here, listen carefully. Right foot spins in at a 45. Firm the right foot down. Bend the left knee, pull the abdomen in, and step the left foot all the way through in between the hands. Bending deep into the front knee. Inhale, you come up. Vira Bhadrasana A, warrior one. Other side. So let's refine. Spinning the right hip forward, firming the left femur back, belly in. Close the ribs. Bring the right chest forward, pull the left chest back. Arms up. Maybe you bring your hands to palms in prayer and you look up. So if the palms are together, you have to firm the triceps into the midline, elbows straight. Two more breaths here. Bending deeper into the left knee. And exhale, hands down, cycle through the vinyasa or meet in downward facing dog with your breath. You're breathing. Three breaths here. So that's Sri Namaskara B, the classic technique. Classic Ashtanga technique. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, come up high on the toes, bend your knees a lot, look forward, step or lightly hop. Inhale, half we lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse. Or actually sit back in the chair with Katasana. Chair pose. Press on up to standing. Okay, we're going to add on the next time. So Suri Namaskar be with some flow. Sit back in the chair with Katasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Cycle through the vinyasa. If you jump back, you have to jump to Chaturanga. No jumping back to plank. Meeting in down dog. Breathing, left foot spins in, right foot steps forward. Inhale, exhale down. 
Right foot steps back, plank, cycle through the vinyasa. Always can do knees, chest, chin. Option to do cobra. And then tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Side number two, right foot spins in, left foot steps forward. In, lengthen. Exhale down. Cycle through the vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog. Okay, everybody listen carefully. Spin the left foot in, step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Warrior one. If you're a Vidrasana A. From here, bring your hands into prayer. Open up warrior two. So warrior two is a little bit longer on the feet. So maybe you take a little wider step. Soft gaze of your middle finger on the front arm. Stretch back, reach forward. Inhale, reverse your warrior. So keep the deep bend in the front knee. Gently place your left hand on the left leg or you can wrap it around. Reversing your warrior. From here we come up to warrior two. Keep your blocks handy. We're gonna come forward to Parjvakonasana side angle. So if you don't have a block, you can always place your elbow on your, your leg or you can come down all the way on the fingertips. I like to put a block. Okay, so there's, it's a side angle pose. So from the left outer foot, through the left leg, left chest, left armpit, left arm, through the left fingertips, big long diagonal line. Looking up. Again, you have to be super wide on the, um, the feet. So the knee is over the ankle. One more breath here. And come on up. Okay, warrior two. Now, spin that back uh, foot forward a bit and, and interlace the, the hands behind your back. Inhale, coil your chest up. And then we're going to come forward to humble your warrior. So you're bringing the, the chest and the rib cage on the inside of the right leg and arms way up and over. Breathing. So nice stretch in the shoulders. Keep that deep bend in the right knee. The right hip is going to want to stick way out, so firm the right hip in. One more breath here. And come on up. Cartwheel the hands to warrior two for a moment. And then we're going to cartwheel down, cycle through the vinyasa, or skip it, and meet in downward facing dog. Full breaths. Okay, good. Second side, spin the right foot in, step the left foot forward. Vira Vidrasana A, warrior one. Bring the hands in front of your chest, you're going to open up warrior two, Vira Vidrasana B. So that right inner thigh is spinning in, pulling the left finger in, belly in. Shoulders are stacked over hips, so spine is perpendicular to the floor. Stretch forward, reach back. One more breath here. Keep the deep bend in the left knee. We're going to gently come up and back, reversing the warrior. So place your right hand gently on the right leg, or you can wrap it around. One more breath. We're going to come up through warrior two. Parsha Konasana, side angle. So bring your block if you have one, or you can do elbow on the leg. And we're going to reach all the way up and over. So nice long diagonal line from the outer right foot through the right side of the leg, the right waist, chest, spinning the right chest up, reaching long. Holding three, breathing two. And one, come on up. Okay, clasp the hands behind your back. We're gonna humble the warrior the other side. Inhale, coil the chest up. Exhale, come forward. Arms up and over. So your whole body is on the inside of your left leg. 
For me, the left hip back, spin the right hip forward. One more breath here. And then inhale, come on up. Warrior two. Cartwheel the hands, cycle through the vinyasa, meeting in downward facing dog, and you're breathing. Three breaths here. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, come up high on the toes, bend your knees, look forward, step or let me hop. Inhale, half me lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sit back in the chair with Katasana. And then press on up to standing. Okay, from here, we're going to open the left leg out. Going into Utita Trikonasana. So bring your blocks. They're available. I like to bring the blocks behind my ankle. Okay, so spin the right foot forward. Angle the left toes in the left heel out. Chest up, arms back. Lengthen long. Reach, 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 reach to the right. And we're going to tip over and drop the right hand down on the block. You can decide which facet. I like to come up on the pads of the fingers. Okay? So I make a little house under the palm so I'm not dumping into the bottom shoulder. Okay? So legs are straight. It's a nice stretch in the waist. So spin the left inner thigh, inner rotation. Pull the right hip back. Press down to reach up. Look up towards the top thumb. Let's hold this for two more full breaths. So you're opening wide. Five directions, legs, arms, head. One more breath. And then inhale. Come on up. Let's change sides. So arms stay out. Right foot turn in. Left leg turn up. Open wide. And we're going to reach, 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 reach. And tip over. Utita Trikonasana open triangle. Press down to reach up. Maybe you look up to the top thumb. So imagine the length on both sides, your sides of your torso are even. So even out both sides of the torso. One more breath here. And inhale, come on up. Good. Okay, so from here, we're going to bring the hands down on the hips. Pivot the right foot forward, spin the left foot back, okay? So left foot's um, turn it at a 45, right foot is forward. Okay, inhale, arms out. And you're going to take reverse prayer if it's available, okay? And if it's not available, you can grab your elbows. Inhale, coil the chest up, legs are straight. Exhale, chin to big toe. So think chin to big toe, belly in. Pull the right hip back, spin the left hip forward. Parasvottanasana. Chin, so it's a, and if you're used to uh, rounding the spine, we're unrounding the spine here. It's heart to shin, chin to big toe. Firm the right hip back, spin the left buttock forward. One more breath here, and inhale, come on up. Okay, if your hands are in prayer, you can keep them. We're gonna spin the feet, and we're gonna do the second side. So hands are in prayer, or you can grab the elbows or the wrists, whatever's available, okay? Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come on forward. So you pull the left hip back, unravel the right hip and buttock forward. As you come down, belly in, flat back, long spike. Chin to big toe, heart to shin. Lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. From that back inner thigh back, pull the left hip forward. Pull the left hip in. One more breath. And inhale, flat spine come up, use your core. Good. Release the arms, shake them out. And then feet together. Okay, from here, uh, Natajarasana, dancer pose. So right hand up, right hand out, drop the hand. 
Grab the right foot, pull from the inside at the ankle bone, all five fingers together. Stretch your left arm up. Stretch up, chest up, reach up. Knees together, focus one point, and you're gonna kick, 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 kick. Keep the chest lifted, the arm up, and kick the right leg back and up using your right inner thigh. Kick the right leg back and up using your right inner groin muscle. Dancer's pose. So you're pulling the right shoulder back, stretching the left arm forward. Holding three, breathing two, and one. Come up, second side. Set it up, left hand up, drop the hand, grab the foot, reach the right arm up. So you start with the knees together, the thighs together the best you can. Stretch up, and then you kick, 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 kick. So the kick is driving the stretch, so allow the kick to lift the chest. Pull the left shoulder back, stretch the right arm forward. And then eventually you're gonna come down a little bit. Breathing. You're kicking the left leg back and up with your left inner thigh. Kick back, reach forward. Holding three. Breathing two, and one, come up, okay, and then arms down. Okay, from here, Vrksasana tree pose. Okay, so balancing on the uh, left leg, bend the right knee, bring the right foot up, and then you bring the sole of the foot high up on the left inner groin. Or if you'd like to do uh, the other style for um, hot yoga, you can Bring the foot on the top of the left thigh. You can choose, okay? So if the sole of the right foot is a high up on the inner thigh, you have to firm the left thigh in. So pressing the thigh to the sole of the foot. If that's not available, you can take the sole of the foot to the calf, just not on the knee. Okay, holding three, breathing two, and one. Let's do the other side. Feet together. St shift your weight over to your right leg. Bend your left knee. And you can choose. You want to do maybe sole of the foot to the calf. Always skip over the knee. Or you bring it a little higher. So left heel is high up on the right groin. Externally rotating the left thigh. The, the femur bone. Okay. Maybe hands in prayer. Focusing your eyes one point. Holding three. Breathing two. And release. Good. Feet together. Come up to the top edge of the yoga mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, diving forward, long spine. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward. And then step your feet back to plank, just to plank. And we're going to lower down. Five. Four, going all the way to the belly for three, two, and we're on the belly. Okay, from here, we're gonna do a Purna Shalabhasana full locus. So arms out to the sides like airplane wings. Inhale, arms, body, head, legs, everything lift up. Chest up, eyes up. Spine strengthening, chest up, eyes up. Look up, come up, three, Two, and one, release. Make a pillow with your hands and forehead on the, on the top of your hands, just making a pillow. You're breathing. Okay, from here, we're gonna go to Dhanurasana Boko. So listen carefully, bend your knees. Hold your feet from the outsides. Or you can flex your feet and grab your ankles, you can choose. Okay, keep your knees close together. On an inhale, you're gonna kick up, kick back. Kick up, kick back. Kick up, kick back. Look up, kick up. Knees together, kick up, kick back. Kick up for three. Breathing for two, and one, release. Okay, good, make the uh, pillow with your hands and place your forehead down. Breathing. Okay, from here, bring your hands under your shoulders. You're gonna press back into child's pose. Child's pose. Two breaths in child's pose. Not too long. From here, we're gonna come on up onto our knees into a camel pose. Camel pose, Ustrasana. 
Hands on your hips, fingers down, elbows close, chest lifted, eyes up, look up, and head back. Squeeze your elbows behind your back. Okay. Now, if you'd like, you can grab your heels. Thumbs outside, fingers inside. If that's too much, you can keep your hands on your hips. Lift your chest up. Elbows close behind your back, holding three. Breathing two. And come on up, sit back on your heels. Close your eyes. Place your the backs of your hands on your legs with the palms face up. And breathe and recover. Okay, from here we're gonna go into rabbit pose. So if you've never done rabbit, please watch before you go into it because you can't really see what you're doing. So you grab your heels from the outside, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Start with the straight spine, you exhale, tuck your chin, and you round your spine. So hold in your belly and you come down slowly. You touch your forehead to the knees, top of the head, touch the floor. You roll forward like a wheel and lift your hips up as high as possible. Hips up, hips up, hips up. Shoulders lift up away from the ears. Okay, the, the, very important when you're in this, you don't look around right and left. That's why you have to know what you're doing before you get into it. Feet down, hips up. Shoulders lift away from the ears. Feel the stretch from your coccyx to your neck. Keep the firm grip and you slowly roll back up, stacking the vertebra gently one by one. Hmm. Head up, last, good. Sit on your hips, stretch your legs forward. Okay, from here, Dandasana, staff pose. Hands next to your buttocks. You're gonna press the palms down, lift the chest up. Palms down, chest up. So Dandasana, staff pose. Legs are engaged, feet are flexed. Spin the inner thighs in. So you're working the legs like your feet are standing on a flat surface. Press down to lift up. And then slight tuck of the chin. And inhale, arms up. Exhale, come forward. Paschimottanasana, forward stretch. Keep okay, come up, we're gonna lie on the back. Slowly. Slow, 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 we come down. Okay, from here we're going into bridge pose. So bend your knees and place your feet hip distance. Hip distance apart. Okay, and then your, your fingers should be able to tickle your heels. Feet parallel, on an inhale you're gonna lift the hips up. Keep your eyes focusing on one point on the ceiling. Hips up. Okay, and then you can walk your shoulders under your body and interlace your hands. Press the, palm, the triceps down, the elbows down, lift your hips up. Squeeze the knees together. Lift the hips up. Hips up. Come down slowly. We're going to do one more bridge, Setu Bandhasana, that's what we just did, or you're going to do an Urdhva Dhanurasana, a wheel. So you choose, if you want to do a wheel, you could do that. If you want to do another bridge, you could do that. I'm going to explain Urdhva Dhanurasana. I'm going to flip the other way. So if you're going into Urdhva Dhanurasana, you bend your elbows. You can go into bridge if you like, go for it. Hands are the shoulders, okay? Squeeze the elbows close. You're on an inhale, you're going to come up and drop the top of your head down onto the mat, okay? And then from here, you're going to continue to press up, okay? All right, so squeeze the knees together. Press the palms down, lift the chest up. One more breath here. And then we're gonna tuck the chin to your chest before you come down, place the head, head down gently. And you're gonna stretch, relax. Okay, from here, you're gonna bend the knees. And we're going to gently massage the spine, so little half circles. Okay, from here, we're going to um, cross the right leg over the left, and we're going to bring both legs over to the left for an eagle twist. 
arms out to the sides. Try to keep your right shoulder down. You look over your right thumb, or your right shoulder towards the hand. Okay, come back to center. We're going to do the other side. Cross the left leg over the right. Bring both legs over to the right. And then try to keep both shoulders down and maybe you look over your left shoulder. Okay, coming back to center. Hug your knees one more time, and then we're going to go into Shavasana, dead body pose. Okay, Shavasana, final Shavasana. So take a moment to organize your body. Feet flap out to the sides, arms down by your sides, palms face up. So stay here with me for two minutes, and then I'll bring you out so we can finish together. If you'd like to take a longer Shavasana, you're definitely more than welcome. Take a big inhale through the nose. Big exhale out of the mouth. Two more just like that. Big inhale. Big exhale. Last one. Big inhale. Big You're welcome to stay in, but if you'd like to come out, it begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Keeping your eyes closed, stretch your arms over your head, reach your legs long. Stretch and reach, long body. Keeping your eyes closed, bend your knees and gently roll over to your right side and pause. Keeping your eyes closed, gently push yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Any seated position is fine. Bring your hands into prayer. Silently thank yourself for taking this time to heal your mind, your body, and your spirit. To be humble and grateful toward the effort that you make in your yoga practice, which is in turn an effort to live a better quality of life for yourself and for those around you. Thank you so much for coming. If you have any questions, please address them in the comments. I will respond um, individually. I'll be teaching tomorrow, Pacific Standard Time, 10 a.m. Bikram Hot Yoga, 26 and 2, 60 minutes. Have a beautiful evening. Thank you for joining. Go in peace. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for participating.